What's going on with you think you know what it is? It's your boy. And my quote, Leon. Content by the Kilo. Dot live. That's content with a K. You don't want the spray. Took off the C. Cause these dudes can't see me. Shout out to Berto Clemente. But, um, Killer Mike. The team booked for battle at the Grammys. Hours after winning three Grammys. So the man had just won three Grammy Awards and inside the Crypto.com Arena in L.A. This according to Rolling Stone, Killer Mike is locked up. Let's see what happened. I'm reading it for the first time just like yo. Uh, Killer Mike arrives for the 66th Annual Grammy Awards at the Crypto.com Arena in L.A. on February 4, 2024. Shout out to that picture right here. And we gonna make this be the maybe somehow that's gonna be the thumbnail. Alright. So right, go. Killer Mike was detained at the 66th Grammy Awards. In LA Sunday afternoon, shortly after winning three of the four rap categories in the pre show telecast about two hours earlier. Alright, so he, I got you. He won the rap categories that aren't televised. So his um, wins were not televised, but it's still a Grammy nonetheless. I mean, Hey, shout out to Will Smith and Jazzy Jeff for his rap group to win a um, Grammy it's straight out of Philly. Where the hell, where my light did just go? It's too early for this, man. Alright. An LAPD source tells Rolling Stone that Render, that's his real name, was handcuffed and detained after an alleged physical altercation inside the arena involving a third party somebody complains obviously we had, to, we had to do something about it the source said Brenda was questioned and later booked for misdemeanor battery according to the LAPD he was released Sunday night on ROI now for those that don't know the law somebody can run up and know you got $11 in your pocket and be like, yo, he just robbed me for $11. Cops run up on you. They're going to run up on you and they're going to search you and find $11. Like, dude, you're getting booked for a robbery. I mean, they say it's innocent until proven guilty, but if you ain't got money, is guilty until proven innocent and that's why all these bail reforms are happening right now because that's really what it was like it was really like for me um thank god i ain't been to state prison since 2007 but um you know did a little county a couple county biz in the meantime but that was the last time um, play, play dice with soap. <laughs> you know what I mean, um, and that's the same thing that happened to me. I had a hundred thousand dollar cash bail, no ten percent. Like my people could have went and got a bail bondsman, paid ten percent, but they wouldn't have got nothing back. So they had paid ten grand, and they wouldn't have got nothing back. Would rather if they paid the whole hundred grand, then probably like four months in, I got a bail reduction. I'm all hype, thinking I'm gonna go to court or something like that, just to see somebody on the case. 
Camden is a mug. Don't never get locked up in Camden. Shout out to Big R.I.P. He got locked up in Camden back in the day. Breaking news. This from Chris Gardner. Rapper Killer Mike has been taken away in handcuffs. Crypto.com Arena after winning three Grammys during the telecast. Best rap song and best rap performance for scientists and engineers. Best rap album for Michael. Free Mike. So many shouts as he walks past. Oh, this video right here. See. Hey, he's saying like, are you serious? Like, yo. When you, <laughs> he's a big dude. So when you big like that, you scare people naturally. You don't even know it. Like, but that little dude, that Urkel dude. He's scared to death of you. Like, your name is Killer Mike. Like, <laughs> your name ain't fucking Sweet Fry. Like, your name Killer Mike. <laughs> they don't, they don't want to hear about that lyricism shit. You kill, you, you a killer on the mic? Nah, they ain't trying to hear that shit. Your name is Killer Mike. They think you murdered somebody. <laughs> They think you, you just changed your life a little bit, but you were still murder somebody. <laughs> Video captured by the Hollywood Reporters. Chris Gardner showed Render being taken away in handcuffs. Gardner reported that an official said the arrest was related to a misdemeanor that didn't have to do with any happenings during the Grammys on Sunday. A rep for an attorney did not immediately reply for requests for comment. The detainment came shortly after the rapper had gone to the press area fielding questions about his win. Elated to have been recognized after more than 20 years in his hip-hop career. It feels absolutely grand, Mike said. If it feels like some people are reaching the finish line first, don't worry. Just keep running your race. What I told him last week, in the podcast, what I tell them, comparing yourself to others is the biggest thief of your own joy. You got to compare yourself to yourself and where you were at. The only thing stopping you is your imagination, Mike said. It's our responsibility ability to be grand in every action. Sunday's award marked the first time. Mike had won a Grammy for his solo work. His first win came more than two decades ago for Best Rap Performance by a group alongside Outkast for the whole world prior to 2024. He was last nominated in 2018 for Best Rap Song for Chase Me, the Run the Jewels collaboration with Danger Mass and, and Big Boy from Outkast. Render did not address the incident on social media following entertainment, but proclaimed, thank God, and dreams come true, it's a sweet. So it's a light case for him, it's nothing, you probably ain't, won't even hear about it again, but you're going to hear about it in the news tomorrow, today. He could have just flicked somebody in the ear, <laughs> and you get a battery for that, so... Ironically, Mike's father served as a policeman in Atlanta. 
In 2014, he told the Fader that his father wanted him and his siblings to be good citizens, but he didn't want them to join the police force. I ain't mad at him. Mike also referenced his father in 2020 during an emotional press conference amidst intense protests in the wake of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor's police killings. I'm the son of an Atlanta City police officer. My cousin is an Atlanta officer. I got a lot of love and respect for officers. He says, standing alongside then Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms and rapper T.I. Mike, along with T.I., also made polarizing pleas for Atlanta, Atlanta residents to stop looting and burning area establishments. I did the same in Philadelphia. I was out West Philly. Um, actually helped clean up the shop right over there on 52nd and, um, what's that, 52nd and Parkside. Shout out to everybody over there. Um, he noted, I'm duty bound to be here. To simply say that it's your duty not to burn your own house down for anger with an enemy. It is your duty to fortify your own house so that you may be in a house of refuge in times of organization. Mike has frequently discussed the failings of the police system in his music. In interviews in the 2004 op, I bet about Ferguson Uprising, where he wrote, I will take a day off. Police and the people we pay and keep a public trust with. I will use my camera, my pen, my pad, and my network to do my part to make sure that America will no longer fear the government or its employees they work for, not the other way around. I will never take a day off policing the people we pay and keep a public trust with. That's real, though. Like... If you own stock in a company and you own enough shares to where the, you had a say so and who gets hired and, and you know, if they're working or not and you see somebody just always chilling and, and, and doing wrong, you're going to say something to them, right? So if we pay taxes and the police work for us. This is not the first time an artist has been arrested on the site of an awards show. In 2006, most deaf, known as Yassine Bey, was arrested by the NYPD after a guerrilla style of street performance. He traveled to Radio City Music Hall where the MTV Video Music Awards were taking place and performed Katrina Clap, a remix of the Know Your Clap, UTP, that spoke on the Hurricane Katrina tragedy. That's that, um, that's that, you um, speaking of Know Your Clap, when they came out with that album, they were in Miami. At the time, at the Source Awards, because I was there, and um, I just came home from doing my second bit, and um, juvenile bit, and um, South Beach was just like, <sighs> South Beach on the Aussie, it wasn't nothing like it. <laughs> Uh, that's when the Aussies was real. That's when the drugs was real. It'll never be the same. These drugs, they ain't the same. I wouldn't even do them. Only way I'd do them if I want to die. Because that's what's going to happen. You mess with anything out there right now, you about to die. He was still arrested after a crowd gathered around the flatbed truck he was performing on. Though, most deaths publicists claimed he had a permit to perform. So, 
don't know what happened with that kid. That's actually um, interesting. I'll get back to you with some reports on that. But, yeah, Killer Mike locked up. He's out already, though. And he's going to get a little charge. Probably had to pay dude off. I wouldn't even pay him off. Like, if he ain't got no real damage, if he ain't break his jaw or... Dude probably got somebody smacking him and hitting him right now. Trying to take pictures of his face all messed up. But it is what it is, man. That's how the game goes. That's why you got to play everybody to the side like Kango. I'm out on that no shit, boy. At my calling on at Beast by the Kilo. Content by the Kilo dot live. Ha <laughs> ha. You know. Anybody need beats? Just put up a new beat on my SoundCloud. SoundCloud.com. What is it? Forward slash backslash. Oh, we're going to go with backslash. Um, beats by dash the com. The kilo. <laughs> Once again, that's SoundCloud.com. Backslash beats by dash the kilo. That's the only one that's like that. Every other one is beats by the kilo, but it is what it is, new beat up, what's it called, I think it's called Shoot Your Shot Part 2, instrumental, or Lion in the Shade, one another, I'm going.